I got a question for you guys. If three apples are in Jack's bag, then Jack has how many apples? Now this is probably one of the easiest questions you've ever had in math, but it's actually um, important. So if three apples are in Jack's bag, then Jack must have three apples, right? Let's look at another really easy question. Kate has $12, so how many dollars are in Kate's possession? Well, all this is, guys, is actually just rearranging the way that we or the location which we put the number right so if Kate has twelve dollars we can also say that twelve dollars are in Kate's possession they mean the same thing the order doesn't really matter last uh, example in the introduction Robert is 72 inches tall how many inches is Robert's height again it's another way of writing the same thing the answer is 72 inches are in Robert's height what are we talking about here we are talking about the symmetric property of equality. Symmetry means that it's the same on the left and right. So if one thing is equal to another, we can switch that and say that other thing is equal to that thing. It's so simple sometimes that it, you could m maybe confuse yourself. It's a very simple mathematical property that we need to study because sometimes, guys, when we write our answer, we want our variable or what we're trying to solve for on the left and the number that we found on the right. So again, this is called the symmetric property of equality. Kind of like looking in a mirror, like we talked about before, except it, it's uh, just a little bit different. So let's look at example one. If 3 equals A, then A is equal to what? And some of you are probably laughing because this is so easy. But I promise you, just like last lesson, you're going to be using this property a whole lot. Okay, so if 3 is equal to A, now why A? Well, let's just pretend that's like kind of like apples, like an introduction. Let's say Johnny has three apples. Well, if three are apples are in Johnny's possession, then how many apples does Johnny have? He has three. So again, this expression and this expression are the same thing. It doesn't matter which way we order it. Example 2, if 6 is equal to D, then D is equal to what number? Again, it's so simple um, that it's almost laughable, but guys, it's very important that you understand this concept. You'll be using it a lot. Example 3, if x equals negative 7.2, then what number is equal to x? Now, we use x a lot in math. I don't exactly know the history behind it. I probably should. I like to think of it as X marks the spot, as in trying to find the hidden treasure and you put an X on a map. Anyway, if X is equal to negative 7.2, then what number is equal to X? Well, just like the previous examples, that would be negative 7.2. You can think of it as just kind of switching these two things, right? And uh, that's why we call it symmetric property. Because if the thing on the left is equal to the thing on the right, then the thing on the right must be equal to the thing on the left from, from the previous uh, statement. So it's just switching the two. That's all you're doing. Okay, if C is equal to D, then what is equal to C? This one's a little bit more abstract, and I love abstract. That's what math is all about, right? Um, again, we use letters to shorten things. So let's just say that Cindy and Donnie weigh the same. I don't know. So this would be Cindy's weight and this would be Donnie's weight. Then what weight is equal to Cindy's? Well, the previous statement said that Donnie's weight was equal to Cindy's. So again, we can just basically, um, when we switch them, right, we end up with this statement on the bottom. Again, this is the symmetric property of equality. And I love taking Spanish in high school. And that kind of led me to this example. If car equals coche, then coche is equal to what? Well, the statement of the first statement says that car is equal to coche. So if we just flip it, right, put that over there and that over there, see, equal uh, basically ties them together, meaning they're the same thing. So coche must be equal to car.